The United Nations Security Council has adopted its first resolution on counter-terrorism that focuses on judicial cooperation. And this comes in the wake of several attacks over the past few days. The resolution encourages countries to set up laws that enable them to work together to combat any terror threat. Our UN correspondent Liling Tan has more. Justice ministers and attorneys general joined members of the UN Security Council this session to discuss how to work together to better counter terrorism. U.S. Ambassador Michelle Sison asked of the Council how do countries prosecute a terrorist captured in one state but who resides in another, one who may be a citizen of, of a third country but whose emails are scattered on servers in several other countries. The answer came in the form of the first ever Security Council resolution of its kind that focuses on judicial cooperation, one that compels governments to work together, particularly on information sharing, extra and prosecution. The resolution urges countries to establish laws and legal systems to appoint liaison officers, improve cooperation between law enforcement and police, establish cross-border investigation into terrorism cases and other joint investigation mechanisms, as well as using the internet and information technology to improve intelligence sharing. Jean-Paul Laborde, the executive director of the Security Council's Counterterrorism Committee, pointed out that organizations like ISIL and Boko Haram are increasingly moving towards organized crime, and international cooperation would recognize and emphasize the rule of law while also bringing terrorists to justice. Now, this debate on cooperating to combat terrorism comes in the wake of fresh attacks uh, this weekend in Egypt, Turkey, Somalia, Nigeria and Yemen, underscoring the reality of terrorism in this day and age and the need for coordinated national, regional and international responses. Lilingtan, New York.